inspired you to become a dentist? I think I was always umming and ahhing about what I wanted to be. So I always really liked science. I like art. So it's almost like a combination of the two. What are all the treatments that you do? I'll always get, make sure that you're wearing safety glasses, like this. I've already got glasses wearing, on it. Yeah, we're doing the extra protection. And then I'll probably wear a mask like this. So if I show you on the model, so I'll be looking at all the teeth. Because obviously I can't see anything on the top unless I go like this. So I have to use a mirror to look at all the teeth on the top. And if you were trying to give someone instruction on how to clean their teeth, what would you give them? To use an electric toothbrush or a normal toothbrush? Normal toothbrush. So I always say, get an electric toothbrush because it makes it so much easier. Can you see on the model how you've got a little gap between the tooth and the gum there? Yeah. So what we want to do is you point it into the gum at 45 degrees, you turn it on, take it all the way around like this, around the outside, then on the inside, and then on the tops of the teeth like this. A lot of people just brush the teeth and don't realise you need to brush the gums as well, which is really important. What happens if you don't clean your gums? Gums will start to bleed and get something called gum disease, which is not fun. That's where your teeth can start to fall out. Have you ever got that before? Gum disease? <laughs> Thankfully, no. I don't think that would be a good advert for being a dentist if I got gum disease as well. What are the three things you need to do to be a really good dentist? So first of all, you need to be really, really patient. When you're doing dentistry, nothing is ever perfect and you can't get frustrated. The second thing, you probably have to be good at drama. You have to be able to put a smiley face on even if you are really frustrated inside. And the third thing is good with your hands. You have to be controlled with your hands. It's like microsurgery. How do you usually do a checkup? So this is what I do. I get you to open nice and wide. I'll probably look at all the soft bits first. Stick your tongue out, wiggle it around a bit. So then we'll start checking your teeth, make sure they're all okay. And then I'll shout out to my nurse. Upper right, 6ED, 2, 1, 1, 2, DE6. And then I look at the bottom ones as well. And then we're done. What do you think? Cool. Yeah? <laughs> so that's how it works. You go to schools and you talk to children about stuff. Can you tell me more about it? So yeah, so I usually go into schools. I talk to them about all the stuff that we've said today. How to brush your teeth, what's the right stuff to eat, what's bad stuff to eat. I teach kids about how to look after their teeth through song and dance. Right, so I'm going to teach you the song now. So you have to go, what can I say except just brush them for two minutes twice a day. So then the next bit is spit, don't rinse away. Should we try it? Yeah. What, what can I say except to brush them for two minutes twice a day? What, what can I say except just brush them, spit, don't rinse away? Wow, what a pro. How do you learn how to be a dentist? You have to learn about the whole body. The mouth is in the body, so you need to know how the mouth affects the rest of the body. So you start by learning about all of this, and in the second year you learn about this bit, so your head and neck. Then you learn about what healthy teeth look like, bad teeth look like. Then you start to do the practical stuff. We have fake heads with plastic teeth in, and then you have to practice drilling into plastic teeth, taking fake teeth out. And then you start to see real people. What subject at school do you have to learn to be a good dentist? So it's basically maths, chemistry and biology, but mostly biology and chemistry. Biology is all about the body. If you don't understand the body, then you're not going to be able to understand the teeth. And also, <clears throat> it's important to understand chemistry so you can understand chemistry of teeth. How really important is it to have good communication skills? It's probably most important to have good communication skills because if you don't, your patient isn't going to understand what you're doing. You have to be able to explain things really, really well. Do you enjoy meeting adults and kids? In dentistry, if you don't enjoy speaking to people and socialising with people, then you won't enjoy the job. doesn't matter how much you like fixing teeth, it's all about having conversations with the patient. So when they come in, I always, I always be a bit nosy. I'll be like, oh, what do you do for a living? What are you doing this weekend? So yeah, I like to <coughs> always have good relationships with my patients. When a child comes in, they don't want their teeth to be done. Have you ever seen them cry before? Loads of times. I just try and make friends with them. And sometimes I get them to sit on like their parents' knee. I'll say like, oh, can you roar like a lion? And I'll go, ah, like that. <laughs> like, <you know? laughs> I sometimes make them like a balloon. It took me years of practice to get good at this. And draw some eyes on. And then I draw a smiley face. <laughs> and that's it. You new spiky haired friend. What would scare you about being a dentist if you were going to be a dentist? About pulling people's tooth out, looking at them with all the dirt in it. 
still would be a scary thing for me as well, actually, taking teeth out. It's not, it's not my favourite thing. So if we can get everyone to brush, then they won't have to have the teeth out. So should we try and do that, get everyone to brush? <laughs> yeah. So are you ready for your checkup? Yeah. 